Hello everybody, welcome to Trans e-learning chemistry videos. Today we'll discuss about Boyle's law and in that we'll be covering the practice problem related to Boyle's law. This is the second video related to practice problems. Is the first question. Now we need to recall the steps that I've taught to you in the video related to steps to solve the Boyle's law equation questions. The first step is to read the question properly so that we can analyze what is given and what needs to be found and to know about the initial and the final volumes and pressures. So a sample of gas occupies a hundred decimeter cube at one bar pressure at zero degrees Celsius. So here we have some sample of gas uh, which occupies the volume 100 decimeter cube at the pressure of one bar at zero degrees Celsius. If the volume of the gas is reduced to five decimeter cube, so applying the pressure through the piston, we have decreased the volume to five decimeter cube at the same temperature, that is zero degrees Celsius. What additional pressure must be applied? First of all, we have to find the pressure at volume 5 decimeter cube. So after that we can only find the additional pressure. Here the pressure 1 is 1 bar and the volume is 100 decimeter cube which you can see uh, in the cylinder and the volume 2 is 5 decimeter cube which we have reduced and we need to find the pressure corresponding to that. So as we know that the temperature is constant so uh, we can apply the Boyle's law and we can use the Boyle's law equations. But before that we need to check uh, whether we need to convert the unit or not. So here the volume 1 has uh, the unit decimeter cube and the volume 2 also has the unit decimeter cube. So the units are same. So that means there is no need for any conversion. We can directly substitute the values in Boyle's law equation which is pressure 1 into volume 1 equals to pressure 2 into volume 2. So now I'll just substitute the values. Pressure 1 is 1 bar and the volume 1 is 100 decimeter cube. Pressure 2 we need to find and the volume 2 is 5 decimeter cube. So here the pressure 2 will be 1 bar into 100 decimeter cube upon 5 decimeter cube. So the units of volume will get nullify. We are dividing 100 by 5 so we get 20 and uh, the units of pressure will be bar. So 20 into 1 so pressure 2 will be 20 bar. This is the final pressure. That means 20 bar is the pressure when the volume uh, is 5 decimeter cube. So now we need to find that additional pressure. We have found the final pressure. So what is the difference between two? This additional words mean that the extra pressure that we have applied uh, through the piston on the cylinder to decrease the volume. So to find this additional pressure we have to subtract the initial pressure from the final pressure. So uh, the final pressure is 20 bar and the initial pressure is 1 bar. So it comes out to be 19 bar. So the additional pressure that we have applied on the piston to reduce the volume from 100 decimeter cube to 5 decimeter cube is 19 bar. Let's see the second question. First of all, we should read the question properly to analyze what is given and what needs to be found. A container holds 500 ml of carbon dioxide at 20 degrees Celsius at 742 tar. So here we have carbon dioxide inside the cylinder or any container and the volume is 500 ml and the pressure corresponding to that is 742 
star. Now, what will be the volume of carbon dioxide if the pressure is increased to 795? So through this piston, we have applied the pressure and uh, we have increased the pressure to 795 tar and we need to find the volume corresponding to this new pressure. First of all, we have to analyze what is given and what needs to be fine. The pressure 1 is 742 tar and the volume is 500 ml as you can see from this cylinder. And the new pressure, the increased pressure is 795 tar and we need to find the corresponding value of volume. Before going further, we should check the uh, units. Here the pressure 1 has the unit tor and the pressure 2 also has the unit tor. So both have the same units so we need not to do any kind of conversion. We can just directly substitute the values here. Now as the temperature is constant as given in the question so we can apply this Boyle's law equation which is P1 into V1 is equals to P2 into V2. So I am writing the pressure 1 is 742 tar and the volume 1 is 500 ml. The pressure 2 is 795 tar and the volume 2 we need to find. So here uh, it will be 742 tar into 500 ml divided by 795 tor. Now the units of pressure will get nullified. If we multiply 742 with 500 we will get 371000 ml and if we divide this by 795 we will get the value as 466.66 ml. So if I round off this volume, so this will come out to be 467 milliliter. So the final volume is 467 milliliter. Now if you can see here, when the pressure is less, the volume is more. But when we increase the pressure, the volume is less. So pressure is inversely proportional to volume which is Boyle's law. So this was the second video related to practice problems of Boyle's law. Thank you very much for watching this uh, video. For more videos you can visit our website transelearning.com. Have a great day.